Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. It is Thursday, five o'clock. Um, just wanted to come by and say hi today and to give you a little motivation. It's a motivational moment with Pamela J. I am Pamela J. And I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to stop by today just to give you a word of encouragement in the message title. You just keep pressing till the work is done. Now, if you're wondering where the story comes from, it comes from when I was a little girl way back in South Carolina many moons ago. I um, had the chore back in the day of doing laundry. And actually, I love laundry. I love doing the laundry. I love um, the peace that comes with doing the laundry. I love um, I, um, just sorting the clothes out, um, putting the clothes in the laundry mm -hmm. basket. Isn't that crazy? You know, um, and matter of fact, whenever I tell people that I actually love doing the laundry, one of the first things they say is, uh, well, you can come and do mine. Ah, uh, no. But I do. I do love doing the laundry, and that was one of my chores growing up down South Carolina. Um, my mom would have me to come out and um, take the clothes off the line, fold the clothes um, strategically, put them on everybody's bed, um, and make sure that they had whatever needed to be had, whatever they needed to wear the next day. My mom would make sure that um, it was clean, but one of my chores was to take the clothes off the line. And so I would do that. And then eventually I graduated to ironing the clothes. And so I went from folding the clothes, taking the clothes off the line, to eventually ironing the clothes. But that came after some time, of course, because you just can't go from being a nine-year-old ironing clothes, or I'm sorry, nine-year-old taking clothes off the line and folding them to ironing clothes. So as I grew with that chore, um, my mom would have me to um, iron clothes. I would iron church clothes, I would iron uh, work clothes, and I would iron regular clothes. Mm -hmm. um, I fell in love with that for some reason. And even today, I still love doing the laundry and I still love ironing clothes. Hey, Reverend C. Wright. Hey, Willie Glover. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. And one of the things that I liked about putting clothes together and doing the laundry was that it was peaceful. Um, that was my doing. That was during the time that I was doing that. That was my God high moment. That was where the times when I was a young girl that I would basically take clothes off the line and have my little conversation with God. I would tell God who made me mad. I would tell God who got on my nerves. I would tell God, you know, I don't want you to get them, but I want you to just, you know, I just want you to acknowledge the fact that they did something to me. So taking the clothes off the line in South Carolina way back in the day became something that I actually loved doing because it was my connection to God. It was my release. It was my therapy, if you will. And so as I stated, um, I would take clothes off the line, I would fold them, and I would put them up. And then eventually, I would start ironing clothes. My mom would trust me with that chore. So I would iron clothes during the week. I would iron clothes sometimes on the weekends. And in doing so, I would make sure that whatever was going on in life, while I'm ironing, I had to watch TV. I would watch my favorite shows. I would make sure that I had everything set, the starch, the water, the iron was hot. <laughs> I would get to ironing and I would watch my favorite show. Well, one night I had the chore of ironing one of my siblings white jeans. And in the midst of that, one of my favorite shows was on. I don't know what show it was. It was a long time ago, but just know I was engrossed with the show while ironing clothes. More worse than that, I was engrossed in the show while ironing these white jeans. There's a point in this. So here I am, I'm ironing, I'm ironing, the show is on. I'm ironing, I'm ironing, the show is on. All of a sudden, I don't know if it was a funny show, I don't know if it was a drama or dramedy, I don't know. 
All I know was for one moment, I took my focus off those jeans and paid more attention to that show. And when I came back to focus on the jeans, those crisp white jeans that were washed days ago that one of my siblings was going to wear the next day now had a brown stain. Yes, I took my focus off of what I was supposed to be doing just to watch TV. That became more important than what the task at hand was. And so, yeah, the brown jeans, I'm sorry, the white jeans now had a brown stain. So what did I do? Did I do the good girl thing? Did I tell somebody that the jeans are now burnt? Or did I do the, I don't want to tell right now, I want them to discover this later on thing. I did the second. Folded the jeans up, put the jeans on the dresser, and said, I'll take my punishment later on. Because growing up down south, having black parents, you and I both know there's going to be a punishment to fit the crime. So the next morning, we all get up, get ready to go to school, and I hear a scream. <laughs> my little secret was discovered, and my mom definitely made sure that that morning was not a happy morning for me. So as time wore on, I still was responsible for doing this chore, still responsible for doing the laundry, still responsible for ironing clothes. Tracy, hi Jeffrey, hi Gerard. Thank you guys for tuning in. So anyway, I had this chore of doing the laundry. I had this chore of ironing clothes. So one day I was complaining, telling my mom, I'm getting tired of doing the laundry. I'm getting tired of ironing the clothes. And her response at that time was, you just keep pressing until the work is done. She was on her way out to the grocery store. It was a Saturday around 12, 1 o'clock. I'm in South Carolina. I think it was 12 or 13. All I know was I didn't feel like doing laundry that day, but I wasn't crazy because I knew that I could only give my mom but so much lip service because I didn't want a consequence to come along with that. So here I am, I'm ironing, I'm ironing. My mom's about to walk out the door. And again, I say, why do I have to do this? And again, her response was, you just keep pressing until the work is done. And when I get back, those clothes better be done. So here I went, I kept on pressing. I kept on pressing. I was fussing in my head, but I kept on pressing. I didn't like what was going on, but I kept on pressing. Seemed like at the bottom of the basket was never ending. It was like I was pulling out clothes and pulling out clothes and pulling out clothes and pulling out clothes and ironing this and ironing that. And then somebody came around the corner and said, iron this, I wanna wear this to church tomorrow. So here I am, I'm fussing in my head. I'm complaining in my head, I don't wanna iron. But my words, those words my mom said, you just keep pressing until the work gets done. You just keep pressing until the work gets done. And so finally, the work got done. I put the clothes up. My mom came back from the store and all was well. Well, one of the things that I used to say to my mom when I didn't like doing what I was supposed to do was the words, I can't wait until I get grown. God, now I will say that now that I'm grown, now I say I wish I could go back. So in saying that, throughout life, there were times that my mom's words would come back to mind. There were times in life that life became difficult. There were times in life where I became perplexed or perplexed about things that I needed to do. But the words of my mother would always come back to mind. You just keep pressing until the work is done. You just keep pressing until the work is done. Little did I know that my mom was actually preaching Philippians. She was preaching Paul. She was basically saying, press toward the mark for the high calling of the prize, which is in Christ Jesus. But of course, I didn't think about it that way. All I knew was that I had to finish the task in hand. All I knew was that I had to keep pressing until the work got done. And so in life, when life beats me down, I remember the words of my mother, you just keep pressing until the work gets done. When the challenges of life hits me, her words come back to mind. 
you just keep pressing until the work is done. And when my relationship with God grew and I began to learn more about Paul and the Philippian church, one of the things that Paul said in this church in the beginning was, finally, which is how he starts the book of Philippians. Finally, my brethren, finally, finally, finally. And what that means to me, the word finally, is that prior to that, Paul had given all of these instructions. Paul had told them some things that they needed to do, ways they needed to behave, and then eventually he was coming and bringing that thing to full circle to say, finally. Finally, the work got done. Finally, the clothes got ironed. Finally, the clothes got put up. Finally, whatever the task is at hand. Finally, the pandemic will be over. Finally, the bills will be paid. Finally, the stimulus check will get here. Finally, we won't be sick. Finally, we won't have to mourn. Finally, we won't be worried about this and that and that and this. Where's the next meal coming from? We're going to stand on Matthew 6, Finally, finally, finally. And as I grew in the Lord, I remembered Paul's words. Brethren, I count myself not to have apprehended, but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before me, I press. I press. I press toward the mark, which is in high calling of God in Jesus Christ. Paul pressed toward that prize. My mom was telling me way back in the day, you keep pressing until the work is done because she wanted me to know early on in life that life was going to have its twists and turns and its ups and downs. Life wasn't going to always be easy. There were going to be times I was going to have to iron things out. There were going to be times I was going to have to figure things out. There were going to be times I was going to have to need to have an alone time with God just so that he can tell me what it is that I need to do. There were going to be times I was going to be chores that I did not like to do, but I had to do. My mom was teaching me responsibility. My mom was teaching me through ironing and doing the laundry strategy. Because it takes strategy to sort clothes out so that the whites won't be pink when you take them out, the washing machine. And so way back then, although I didn't like some of the things that I had to do, my mom was teaching me then and my dad was teaching me then the strong level of responsibility that I needed to take on. And more importantly, stay with it and keep pressing until the work got done. I wanted to stop by today and I wanted to encourage you that despite what you see going on, mm -hmm. despite what is happening, despite what you see in the news, I want you to keep pressing until the work gets done. I was happy when, Reverend, when I'm sorry, President Barack Obama gave the commencement speech last week. There were so many people who didn't get to celebrate the normal way of their graduation, of their high school graduation, or their college graduation. And here we had the 44th president giving a global commencement speech to those graduates who kept pressing until the work got done. I think about the times they probably thought about giving up. I think about the times that I think about giving up. I think about the times you may have thought about giving up. But if you don't remember anything today, remember the words of my South Carolina mom. You keep pressing until the work gets done. You keep staying in the race until the work gets done. And whatever work there is that God has for you, know that he is faithful enough to see it through. He knew what he was putting in you. You are a good substance. You are a good substance. He knew exactly what he was doing when he created you. Can't nobody do you but you. You keep pressing until the work gets done. You keep pressing until the work gets done. Don't think about what's going on. Don't worry about no bills. Don't, didn't he provide for you before? Same God. I love that song by Ty Trippin. If he did it before, He'll do it again. You just keep pressing until the work gets done. 
This has been my motivational moment. I am Pamela J. If you like this little video, I would love for you to share it. You can follow me on Instagram. I am the Pamela J Show on Instagram. I have a YouTube channel so in case you missed this, in case you want to subscribe to it. I would love that you do that. Please like my fan page. Please um, follow me. Send me some words of encouragement. I hope this has inspired you. I hope that through this message of keep pressing until the work done, you're inspired to continue out the plan of God and you are inspired to do the work of the Lord he has placed before you. Look, God knew what he was doing when he told you to do it and he knew the pandemic was going to happen. But your job is to stay on the battlefield, continue being a witness, continue trusting God, and continue knowing that he who has begun a good work in you is faithful to complete it. Hi, Vinny. How are you, sis? I just hope that today this message makes you get further into your purpose, move towards your goals, know that God has your back, know that he has not forsaken you. I want you to remember to press toward the mark for the prize which is the high calling of Jesus Christ. And with this, those words, I bid you adieu. I thank you for tuning in. I want you to keep moving. I want you to keep pressing. I want you to write me or tell me the praise reports that's going to happen because there will be glory after this. This too shall pass. You just keep pressing until work gets done. This has been my motivational moment with you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing a moment with me. I hope you enjoyed this moment with you. And one last thing, I want to say thank you to my brother in South Carolina, Marvin Jenkins, who sent me these today. I'm so grateful he thought about me and sent me some beautiful masks that I'm going to wear later on when I go outside. It's a pretty day outside. You guys be blessed. I will see you later on. And remember, you keep pressing until the work gets done.